where firing is underway between terrorists and the armed forces. One army jawan has been uh, killed. Three civilians uh, have also been uh, injured between the encounter that's going on. But three terrorists have been shot down between this firing. We also understand there are some more terrorists that are holed up. This is after the terrorists attacked an army post in the Anya sector earlier in the day. This is about two kilometers inside the international border. The encounter has been going on for six hours now. Let's hear out the Home Minister on this issue. मैं वैसे जानकारी मैंने ली है और हमारी हमारी फोर्स और वहाँ के लोग पूरे मामले पर अपनी नजर बनाए हुए हैं। so we're getting you the latest. The firing is still continuing. It's been six hours since the terrorists first launched an attack where uh, the three army one were actually injured and one has been killed. But we also know the three terrorists have been shot down. The entire set of BSF posts along the border in that area have been put on high alert because there are terrorists which are still holed up inside where the firing is actually continuing. And this is two kilometers inside the border itself about just about uh, 20 odd kilometers uh, from the jungle district so it's very crucial uh, 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 that the army is managing to contain uh, this entire uh, infiltration attempt that's taking place Pradeep is of course with us and he's been tracking this story Pradeep the firing still continuing in a uh, in a heavy way Yes, uh, for the last six hours, the encounter between the army and the terrorists is going on. These four terrorists are said to have infiltrated today morning, and it was at about 8.30 these terrorists got intercepted. They carried out a benign attack. They opened fire on the army personnel. The army personnel sustained the bullet injuries. And after that, these terrorists passed into one of the TCP posts. I asked my camera person to pan towards that area. You can see several of the army personnel. They have already taken position. They are trying to uh, just kill the last of the terrorists who are still hold up in the area. Three terrorists have so far been killed. Three civilians who had sustained the bullet injuries have also died. One army person lost his life when initially they carried out a benign attack. These terrorists are said to be carrying with them large quantities of arms and ammunition. They are trying their level breast to break the cordon. Three terrorists have been so far killed. One terrorist is still holed up inside uh, one of the posts. You can see uh, there the chopper is already here uh, to evacuate uh, the casualties. Uh, this is the fourth sortie since morning when the choppers have come to take the injured and the killed uh, personnel. The, uh, there is a lot of lot of tension in this area. Uh, this um, uh, this area is just 20 kilometers away from the Jammu city. The biggest challenge right now before the army and the police is that to ensure that the terrorists who are holed up inside that post, they are not able to break the cordon and move towards the city area. Right. Because this um, everybody knows that elections are around the corner and Prime Minister Narendra Modi is coming tomorrow to right. address two rallies. One rally is to be addressed at Udampur, the other is that the border district of Punch. Right now, the three tier cordon is there. Police has, uh, as well as the army, they have plugged all the entry and exit points to ensure that the last of the terrorists who is still hold up in that bunker is not able to move out. The army is slowly and slowly inching towards that post. They have fired some UBGL rounds also. The idea is that they just want the terrorists to come out, but this four terrorists is still engaging the troops in that area. So biggest challenge to ensure that he is killed at the earliest. Encounter is going on for more than six hours. These terrorists are said to have infiltrated from the international border right. in the Arnia sector. Right, Pradeep, also, last... also, also just give us some more details about the way the, uh, the attack really took place in the morning when the terrorists first uh, uh, attacked the BSF post and the uh, army jawans. Again, started uh, as we had been talking to you. Once again, the terrorist who is holed up inside, he has opened fire, and the firing is still going on. Army has uh, caught in that area. They are slowly inching towards that. I have been saying the post. There are information that still large number of terrorists are there at the launch pad. From time to time, they have been trying to sneak into this side of the border, but because of the alert and the vigilant troops, they had not been able to do that. But today, finally, the four terrorists who are said to be part of the Lashkar suicide squad, they managed to sneak into this side after out the FIDA in attack, the three terrorists have so far been eliminated. Four terrorists are still hold up. There is a there is, in fact, the people say they have seen six terrorists. So that is also one of the reasons that the army is taking uh, has a cautious approach. And the firing is firing is going on as I'm talking to you. The firing is still going on. 
he is uh, the terrorist who is still hold up because he's just few meters away from this point. The terrorist who is hold up, he is firing from the assault rifle. He is trying to break the cordon because idea is that he is trying to break the cordon so that so that he can uh, just manage to uh, flee flee back. That is what actually the terrorist is trying to do. But army personnel, they have already got the cordon in place. They are trying to ensure that this firepower and this terrorist is utilized at the earliest. Uh, so right now, overall, the situation continues to remain grave because it, this encounter has taken place at a time when elections are around the corner. It seems that the Pakistan is quite frustrated because they have seen the coins of the percentage. For, for, there had been 71 polling percentage in the first phase. So they are trying to... Uh, once again, scuttle the democratic process. That is basically the Pakistan strategy, which has been foiled. The alert troops had been able to intercept all these four terrorists. Three of them have been killed. One still at large. The firing is on, as we had right. been talking to you. From time to time, there is a stacket of gunfire from the terrorist side. Right. The cordon is there. There is a three-tier cordon. All the entry and exit points have been plugged to ensure that the four terrorists who is holed up is not able to move out.